Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Happy Holidays, where I'm giving you guys 21 videos, and the reason it's only 21 is because I had some questions. It won't actually, it won't actually be 25 days of Christmas videos because the Stephen King reviews will continue every Thursday. Uh, but today we're just going to jump right in to the review of A Boy Called Christmas. This one is family oriented, so if you don't care about you know kids movies or family movies, you can go ahead and click away now. I won't be upset. Uh, but this is a story about a boy named Christmas. It's in the title. Um, the the boy and his father live in the human world. His father must travel to to appease the king. His father must travel to the. Uh, world, I, not really world, but the hidden city of Elfheim, or Elfhelm, I couldn't really tell. Sometimes it sounded like Helm, sometimes it sounded like Heim, and the captions, I couldn't tell if they were I's or L's, so, you know, there at the end, the, the Helm or Heim part, so, whatever. Um, they have to, he has to travel there, he travels there, and he doesn't come back, so Christmas goes looking for him. Uh, while this is a very predictable very predictable story. I had some fun with it. Uh, my favorite character, hands down, was the mouse, but I cannot remember his name. I want to say like Myron or B Byron or something like that. Uh, it was very the Green Knight in that the the animal did not talk right away. The fox in the Green Knight is what I'm talking about. And then all of a sudden it starts talking. Whereas this one, uh, the mouse is more comic relief than the fox was in the Green Knight. So. He ends up getting to, the, the boy ends up getting to Elfheim, and we get the origin story of Santa Claus. I mean, I don't think, especially with the boy wearing the hat throughout the entire thing and on the, the, the poster, I don't think that's a spoiler. In fact, that was my number one criticism with it. Even though I enjoyed the movie for what it was, in the same way that I like things like The Santa Claus, you know, with Tim Allen. Um, it's enjoyable for what it is, just brainless fun. You sit down, you watch with your family. Um, so I'm going to give this three stars, relatively positive review. Um, I didn't hate the movie. I did find it very, very predictable. Scene after scene after scene, I was like, okay, this is going to happen, and then it happened. Um, there was one twist at the end I didn't quite see coming, having to do with the evil elf witch or whatever her, the, the one who is ruling over uh, the Elfheim or Elfhelm, uh, while after a series of events, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil that part for you. Um, even though, again, I thought it was rather obvious what had happened to the father. Um, this is like again. This is fun. I enjoyed it, but going into like I said, with the caveat that it, it's just it's just popcorn cinema, not in the way that it's an action movie, but it's just something that you sit down and you watch, and it may not stay with you past maybe two or three days, maybe not even after you watch it, but it is something to watch with the family this time of year. But if you watched A Boy Named Christmas, uh, I believe it's on Netflix. If you have, let me know if you loved it, hated it, felt mad about it, but if you felt any of those things, let me know why in detail so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another episode of Happy Holidays. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.